is this this board, right? So show that, huh? the, the board right there. Mm -hmm. That's used to keep the boat from side slipping. So when it's really blowing and it's going downwind, mm -hmm. that dagger or a dagger oh, board, okay. you call it a dagger mm -hmm. board. A dagger board you find mm -hmm. a lot of the small boats, mm -hmm. and you find them on catamarans. Yes. But they'll use that on a Vendée Globe boat to stop the boat from side slipping and keeping it on course. Mm -hmm. Because there's a keel on these boats, the cantilever out, it's called the cantilever keel. And since the keel is almost out vertical of the water, mm -hmm. there's nothing vertical in the water to keep the boat from side slipping. Right. Right. So thus, they use those dagger boards mm -hmm. to make up for the keel not being vertical in the water. Mm. Then you have three sets of Genoa's. The first one's your storm jib. As you can see up on the mast, it doesn't go too high, so it doesn't give too much force. Now you're going to mm -hmm. use your storm jib in obviously conditions where you've got 40 knots of wind, and you're going to reef your main, you want to bring the power down on the boat, you use that. The second set is pretty much what you call a normal Genoa, mm -hmm. because the two Genoa's would yes. be by the two, two points of fixation. The yes. one is a storm jib, and the other one should be a normal Genica, which you'd use pretty much in, in all conditions up to, you know, maybe 10 knots and above. Mm -hmm. And when you get really light wind, and you got the wind off behind you on a reach, yes. you're gonna go all the way to the top of the mast, which is the furthest point you can see fixed to the, the prow of the boat, yes. bow sprit. And you're gonna put on that, you're gonna put either, on these boats they really don't use a spinnaker, it's more mm -hmm. like a blooper type sail, mm -hmm. or a G20 they call mm -hmm. it, or a G sail. And that is just a big, loose sail that's gonna push the boat. So you have those three points of fixation. And not all the boats have those, some only go with two. And so, uh, Newport guy. Can you can you explain the uh, now the idea this of the, thing again? The, this, this 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 actually is more of an outrigger where well, that's okay. a dagger board. The idea of an outrigger is to bring the point of fixation of the mass as far out as they can on the boat. And actually, what that does then is it gives more stability. And without that, you can't do a mass like this with no. As you can see, there's no spreaders on it. Mm -hmm. So you have to have this type of fixation to be able to give the mass enough strength to not break at the top. Okay. Whereas so normally it replaces use, all those standards. It, this, in a way, replaces the spreaders. Okay. It becomes the spreader. Mm -hmm. No wonder the, it looks clean, cleaner than, uh, you know, right. all those... But you're, uh, but you're not going to want to use this on a boat that has to go upwind. These boats are built to go downwind, mm. off the wind. This is an, mm -hmm. uh, the Vendée Globe is literally a race yeah. Surfboard. And that's can we, why they're can big we have flat. a look at the uh, cockpit inside? You know, all those grinders. Yeah, you can see yeah. That, right? yeah. And these boats, if you want to look right here, as you can see, these boats are set up for one man to sail. Mm -hmm. And that's why you can see here he's got the grinder, mm -hmm. which is the point. And typically they, they use the grinder not so much for the sail adjustment, but just to ro roll out the sail. So mm -hmm. when he wants to bring the sail out mm -hmm. from the from the furler, mm -hmm. he'll typically use the grinder to bring I it see. out. Wow. Okay, mm -hmm. the grinder you can use to adjust the sail, but typically they'll just use the winch to do the fine adjustments mm -hmm. on the sail. And here, of course, you've got your traveler for the main. Yes. And you can see it's got to be extremely strong with supports they put in here. Bracing. Bracing, yes. yeah, yes. they do that. And that's kind of a new idea. And of course, you've got this cockpit fairing that slides back to protect mm -hmm. the sailor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These boats have a tendency to go underwater in I swells. See. And mm -hmm. the water will literally come up and over yep. the boat. And you can imagine doing 20 knots. Mm -hmm. There's a chance they'll knock the sailor right off the boat. Now this race, they had a lot of problem at the back of the boat here, because they didn't have with with the energy systems and that sort of thing. You can see these new. This is the new thing, the hydro generator. You see this thing with the propeller oh, okay. on it. Does it go underwater? Yeah, they, they put those down. You can see here. Mm -hmm. We have two of these, and these are the new tr new things these year. They're fabricated in La Rochelle. They're called a the hydro generator. Mm -hmm. They'll put that down in the water, and that will charge the battery. Mm -hmm. But what's really, really important in building one of these boats is to make sure it's fixed really well to hit coal. The last boat here, Bernard Stam, mm -hmm. was had to drop out of the race because the support's broke. That's a Swiss guy, right? It's uh, a the Swiss guy, Stam? Stam, yes. Yes, yes. He had to drop out because his supports for the hydro generator broke mm -hmm. because they weren't built strong enough. Mm -hmm. So really important you build those strong. Because these boats now, they use, they use the fuel in the, uh, they, they put some fuel in the gas tank and mm -hmm. they run the motor mm -hmm. to charge the electronics. Mm -hmm. But that's probably only, you get them around the world, 40% of the distance. The rest that's of right. the energy has to come from these two hydro generators. As you can see, they're not using any solar, they're not mm. using any wind generators. Mm -hmm. Past generations, they use wind generators, they use, they use other system solar panels. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, these things, which are built from a, a, a company that does about a million a year mm -hmm. recently, they fabricate it pretty much for all the boats, those machines, mm -hmm. called the hydro generators. That really is the future, I think. But right now, if you want to make money for your friends in China, 
It's to come up with better solutions for providing energy to these race boats. It's a real problem. A real problem. That's okay, a summary.